Hi, welcome back. Today we'll be making grilled steak with mashed potatoes and uh, side lettuce uh, and corn on the cob. Okay, and these are the ingredients we'll be using. Now our star will be the uh, steak. This will be a T-bone steak that we'll be using. Uh, we'll be using Montreal seasoning to flavor it. And we'll have potatoes, which we're going to boil and mash, and corn on the cob, and simple salad with lettuce and tomatoes. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start by peeling the potatoes first. Okay, I have five potatoes here, which we're going to mash up. So we're just going to start by peeling it, and when we're done, uh, I'm going to show you my completion. Now that the potatoes are peeled, rinsed and peeled, I'm going to chop them to increase the surface area so they will cook faster. So be very careful with your sharp knife. And then again. And all we do, I already have a pre-prepared pot of boiling water. And I'm just going to cut these up like so. And just put them all in the water. I generally like to also add some kosher salt just to flavor up the potatoes a bit, cover it, and then bring it to a boil. There we go. And we wait for that to boil, and then once it's boiling, we turn it down to low and just let it simmer and cook. Okay, now. Our potatoes are just about done. It's been approximately 15 minutes or so that the potatoes have been boiling uh, in salted water. But here are some of the added ingredients for the potatoes. Now, we have mayonnaise, a half a bar of margarine, or if you like butter, salted or unsalted, it's up to you. We're going to use three cloves of garlic and dry minced onion flakes. You know what, now we're going to start off by chopping the garlic. Okay, just to get this peel off, you knock it out like so with your blade. And now I'm just going to chop them up like so. Okay, I see that my potato is boiling over, so I will lower the heat. Oh, excuse me. Now, we're just going to reverse it and chop them up a little bit more, so that they'll melt into the potatoes. Okay, that's good. A little bit chunky is also fine. Throw these away. Now the potatoes are ready, so I'm going to strain the potatoes. Here they are. Oh yeah, nice and soft. Put them in the colander. And then put them back into drain to strain rather okay oh yeah they're nice and soft okay. empty out the water now I'm going to put the potatoes back in oh, oh, one escaped there we go 
and now we're just gonna add the chopped garlic in like so now we're gonna add the margarine I just like to chop it up so that it dissolves faster and we're going to use a cap full of uh, minced dried onions okay a cap full or more or less to your taste and preference I like to use one full cap full next we're going to put in about two spoons full of mayonnaise one two okay now all we have to do is just use your potato masher and mash everything in and mix everything in well all that margarine taste the mayonnaise the garlic and the minced onion flakes will go together well with your grilled steak and also we have corn the cob which is boiling in salted water okay just mash it in and then we're gonna cover it and start the grilling because grilling steak is the fastest thing it's three minutes on each side but I'll show you okay just to be very thorough so you don't have any lumps in your mashed potatoes to prepare my t-bone steak I'm gonna use this griller so that I can flip my steaks front and back and it would be make it a lot easier in grilling but first I need to spray it down with some canola oil on both sides thoroughly to minimize sticking now I'm gonna put in my t-bone steaks pop this open like so and I have my Montreal seasoning here which I'm going to generously splatter on not too much because this stuff can be salty and you want to taste the meat the beef okay so not too much and then you flip it over you do the same thing on the other side and this is the Montreal seasoning mix really good now I'm going to place both these steaks in here like so hmm, maybe to fit them I should do this instead that will fit better okay good now I'm going to close this up and we are ready for grilling okay we're outside now with my grill I already preheated -pre it for approximately 500 degrees and we have the steak here which I'm gonna put in now let's do this whoa that's hot Whew. that's why I have these uh, silicon mitts now I'm just gonna put it in like this right in the center where it should be the hottest close it and wait approximately three to four minutes depending on the thickness of the beef and then we're gonna flip it over for another three to four minutes okay see you then okay now it's approximately four five minutes almost so I'm going to look at it and turn it around Whoa. That looks good. Oh yeah, see? Now we're just gonna turn it around and cook the other side. And we're gonna wait for another four to five minutes, okay? 
Now it's been approximately four minutes. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, that looks like a nice char on it. See that? You see the juices flowing out? And we just leave it on and give it a little bit more color. And the other side. I'm, just, I'm going to start turning it down. This should be about medium. Well done. Okay, now I'm going to bring it in and we're going to start serving dinner. Okay, here we go. Okay, now everything is complete as you can see and plated. And here's the salad with just plain lettuce, tomatoes. We're going to put some our ranch dressing on it later and oh I can't wait to give the steak a little taste so excuse me while I sneak up and bite this is chef's prerogative oh, look at that perfect mm. flavorful you get a nice seal on the outside you take some smoke flavor Ooh, I'm gonna finish this anyway if you like this channel you and you like this recipe give me a thumbs up and subscribe see ya